Um, actually, watching the Reggae Boys play Cameroon um, a couple of days ago and seeing Justin McMaster scoring the goal for Jamaica was really, really um, pleasing and fulfilling in a lot of ways. Um, my first stint as head coach of a national team, the Jamaica Under-17 team in 2014-15, um, Justin was uh, one of the two strikers that we used um, in the preliminary round of the campaign. Um, he scored four goals for Jamaica in that first game against US Virgin Islands. Um, and he has a lot of potential. I displayed a lot of potential as a striker back then. And he would have gone on to play again in the Caribbean Championship round. I don't quite remember the details of all the goals that he scored. But um, unfortunately for him, um, he lost his place in the team to Nathaniel Adamoluken, who came in and made the team for the final round in Honduras in 2015. Um, but Justin went away on scholarship, um, went to university in the States and is now playing professionally. And that's just amazing, the progress that he has made. Um, learn a little in interesting um, bit of fact that he's the first Jamaican to score on debut at under 15, under 17, and now as a senior national. And that's an interesting um, record and one that he should personally be very proud of. You know, And I'm um, very glad to see that he's still in the game, that he's growing and developing and hopefully he can matriculate to become a regular for the senior national team and it's just a joy to see um, that game in particular though um just to add um very interesting the number of players that i would have worked with who were a part of that team um the goalkeeper jamal Wait was a part of that said team with justin so jamal Topi would have played in the following team um, likewise, Lamar Walker was a part of that setup, you know, and of course, my very first stint back in earlier on, we had um, people like Low, Damian Low, who was around the program back in 2010, 2013, they're about in that period. So, yeah, it's been a nice journey for them, and I'm very happy to see the progress that they're making and looking forward to seeing them continue. Very excited about what is likely to happen in 2026.